Hey everybody, what's going on? Fallout here, and today I have yet another exotic weapon review for you, the brand new SMG, the Huckleberry, available in the Destiny 2 expansion, Warmind. I should really quickly clarify, the other weapon reviews I've put out, those are weapon buffs, uh, and those are available to everybody. I didn't want to mislead anyone and think that you could only use the brandly new buffed Graviton Lance or Crimson if you had the Destiny 2 DLC. The old exotic weapons that are now buffed, that's free for everybody. The brand new stuff, though, is only available to people who have Warmind. Alright, so anyway, why don't we talk about the Huckleberry in both PvP and PvE usage. And before we do that, why don't we take a look at the gun? The Huckleberry is a kinetic SMG, and it fits into the brand new SMG archetype of 750. 50 RPM. Perk-wise, the weapon comes with Rampage, which, if you don't remember, each kill that you get with the weapon is going to stack a damage buff on top of your SMG. I believe each stack is an additional plus 10%, and the only unfortunate thing about Rampage is that the perk only lasts for three and a half seconds. Not a bad perk, could be worse, but still. It also comes with Ricochet Rounds. That's not bad. That's gonna give your SMG a little extra range. If you didn't know, Ricochet Rounds kind of functions like Rangefinder did in Destiny 1, it gives your weapon additional range. I mean, yeah, you can also bounce bullets off of hard surfaces, but nobody really cares about that. Finally, we come to the weapon's unique perk, and that's called Ride the Bull. Increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. Not bad. Getting your ammo back directly to the magazine after a kill? That's pretty cool. That kind of pairs well with Rampage. You get a kill, two things happen. One, more damage from Rampage, and two, more ammo directly back to your magazine. They go hand in hand. Now, about that increased rate of fire and recoil. I'm gonna let you listen in on my first initial reaction on testing the weapon's recoil in PvE. <laughs> Holy sh**! Wow. I mean, that's me just holding down the trigger, not attempting to control the recoil at all. I feel like I like doing that just to see the weapon's natural recoil pattern. But obviously if you hold the sticks if you're playing on controller and you shoot the Huckleberry, you can do a somewhat good job of controlling the recoil, but still, the gun has a lot of kick. If you do plan on using this weapon on console, you might really benefit from putting on a reduced kinetic recoil armor mod on your Guardian. Okay, so let's talk about how the Huckleberry performs in PC. PvP. When you're fighting people up close with it, as you may have guessed, this weapon shreds. However, if your enemy is further than close range, really close range, you might have a lot of difficulty landing your shots. I kind of found that when enemies were at a certain range away from me, I sort of started tapping the trigger a little bit before getting close enough to give them the full-on hold the trigger down horns of the bull, if you know what I mean. I know it's an SMG, and I know SMGs weren't designed to function really well at medium-ish to long range, but still, the gun only really performs very well right up close. The ammo that you can get back directly to your magazine on a kill, that's pretty nice, and even though Rampage can help occasionally, you shouldn't really expect it to unless you're playing a really clustered game type like Rumble or Iron Banner. Because the Huckleberry puts in work at close range, if you want to really use it well in PvP, you're going to have to pair it up with a medium to long range elemental weapon to cover yourself at every range. You know the drill. You know, the darkest before, the inaugural address, the manananan, the Pleiades corrector. Any longish range elemental that you feel good about using, pair it with that. I think if we're being honest though, we want to boil it down to one simple question. Is the Huckleberry worth using in PvP? And to that I say, eh, not really. Does it look really cool? Yeah. Is it fun when you get a kill up close? Yeah. That being said though, there are a lot of really damned powerful exotic weapons in D2 right now, and using the Huckleberry almost seems like a waste of an exotic weapon pick in PvP. Uh, hey, didn't you just say it was pretty good up close though? Yes, I did say that. But still, I think the gun is far outshined by the golden standard of the PvP SMG, which is the Antiope. The Antiope is way easier to control, it's easier to land shots, it's better at longer ranges, it comes with the far superior PvP perk Kill Clip, which gives you a stronger damage bonus than Rampage, and it lasts longer. They're also both kinetic weapons, so unless you really resonate with the Huckleberry, I'd struggle to see why anyone would use it over the Antiope in Crucible. But the gun looks really cool! I mean, yeah, it does look cool. But you know what? 
that ain't enough for me. I'm not shallow, people. I need substance. It's what's on the inside that counts. And the Huckleberry has the heart, but it ain't got the talent. To me. In PvP, anyway. Don't worry, though. All is not lost. Let's talk about the Huckleberry in PvE, because this is where the gun can actually shine. The combination of ammo back in the chamber for each kill and rampage may not come into play that often in Crucible, but in PvE, this is a stellar combo. The Huckleberry is a 100% certified grade A trash shredder. As long as your light level isn't pitifully pathetic, you can carve through endless enemies without really reloading at all, and your bullets just get stronger and stronger with every kill. It's actually really fun. Again, I do wish the recoil was a little bit calmer. But still, if you want to use the gun in PvE, again, you gotta cover yourself for every level of range, so I think you should pair it together with maybe something like a high damage scout rifle. I really like scout rifles for PvE. They pack a solid punch, they let you fight at safe range, and hey, if you start to get overwhelmed up close, just cut them down with the Huckleberry. You don't have to pair it with the scout rifle though, I just think it's a good idea that if you're gonna use a weapon that does really well up close, you want to make sure that you have a weapon that does really well at long range too. Okay. Okay, really quickly, let's talk about the Huckleberry's Masterwork Catalyst. The friend of mine who was nice enough to let me playtest this weapon, by the way, thank you, Ethrad, didn't happen to have the catalyst on the gun yet unlocked. But that doesn't matter because we already know what it is. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. Sound familiar? It should because it's the ambitious assassin perk, which is found on plenty of other weapons in the game. If you don't really know too much about that perk, well, here it is in a nutshell. You get a bunch of kills in rapid succession, you reload your gun, and boom, you get a bigger magazine. It's an okay perk. It's not really going to make up for the Huckleberry's shortcomings in PvP, though. All it really does for me is just cement the Huckleberry as a certified PvE trash-killing machine. But that's not a bad thing. Really, go give the gun a try if you have it. I think you'll have a lot of fun using it if you like playing PvE. So, as per usual, how do you feel about the Huckleberry. Do you even have it yet, or do you have bad RNG like me? If you have the gun, let me hear your thoughts. Tell me if you like it or not. I want to hear from you down in the comments. And I've mentioned this before, but it is worth repeating. I'm trying to review as many new and newly buffed guns that I can. So what weapons do you want me to review next? Exotic? Legendary? Whatever. I don't care. Let me know. Anyway, please do me a favor. Please click like. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, please click the little gray bell to help me get one step closer to my goal of ruling the entire world. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. See you next time.